Hey guys and welcome back to week 13 of Hand Technique Demystified. Today we are finally looking at some exciting hybrid techniques for the traditional grip. Stay tuned. After using the push-pull technique in the German and French position, let's now look at some applications for the traditional grip. Start in this kind of position. Now push the stick in with your wrist and radius and ulna and straighten out your fingers. Now pull it back out to the first position by again turning your radius and ulna and moving your wrist and by pulling in your index and middle finger creating a second stroke like this. Yeah? So you have push, pull, push, pull, push, When you get faster, the movement becomes again smaller and more efficient and you're maybe not turning your arm uh, that much anymore and doing it more from your wrist. There are a bunch of different ways, but you know, getting faster would look something like this. And you can, for example, lead a little bit with your elbow, help with your elbow. Or make more use of your wrist, you know, starting more from here and pushing your wrist in and pulling it back out like this. Looks a little bit weird, but you know, again, this is the fast movement. You wouldn't do that slowly, but faster. can make more use of your wrist. You know, less use of the wrist, a little bit stiffer, with the elbow a little bit, or making more use of the, of the actual uh, wrist bend. Again, there are a million different ways to create the push-pull stroke uh, with your traditional grip. The principle is, you know, pushing in and pulling out, pulling back out with your fingers. And um, it depends on you, again, how much turn of your forearm, how much bend of your wrist, how much elbow you use. It creates also a different sound, you know, when you lead more with your elbow, you get a bigger, fatter sound, and the more subtle and, and quiet it gets, the less arm movement is involved and the, and the more uh, finger movement is involved. There is also the so-called drop bounce technique where you hold your hand kind of like this, more or less with the palm facing up and you drop it like only once, you know, not multiple times, you drop it once and then you give it a little squeeze with your thumb. So one, two, one, two. In a kind of shuffle pattern, but then again, you know, straightened out. More like this. I'm not an expert on this kind of technique because, as I've told you before, I'm generally not a heavy thump user. So I came up with my own kind of, of a drop bounce technique, oriented more on the technique I showed you before, the push-pull. And then the movement gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you kind of drop bounce from there. You know, drop, bounce, drop, bounce, 
ones. So instead of doing this thing in, in this position with my thumb, I'm doing it more uh, in this kind of position and dropping and, and pulling out with my index finger. What could be seen or described as a very small version of the original push-pull version that I showed you. I mean, you can start big, and then get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until you end up here. The father and absolute master of techniques like this is Buddy Rich. And a lot of different and controversial opinions have come up regarding of what exactly he was doing. Unfortunately, we can't ask him anymore and there is no footage at all of him explaining what exactly he was doing, at least not to my knowledge. Some people claim it's, you know, the normal, standard, classic, traditional grip push-pull thing that I was showing you earlier. This kind of thing. You know, in all variations and sizes, we've already discussed it. Other people claim he's doing more of the, the drop bounce with the thumb things. You know, this, this thing that I hardly ever use. To my knowledge, he's using more of the drop bounce version that I was showing you earlier with the index finger. Or the small push-pull thing, you know. From the big push-pull to the smaller more drop bounce thing. And some people have also taught and described the motion that he was doing, um, talking about making more active use of your ring finger. So you do the exact same thing, but you're also pushing with your ring finger. So it's like, you know, letting go and catching again with a little pull of your index finger and a stretch of your ring finger. So kind of like this. And that, one, two, one, two, one, two. This kind of thing happening, alternating between your index and ring finger. You know, very fast, of course. If you do that um, with an actual s s um, gravity um, stroke of your stick, you know, you end up here. And there's not much difference to what I was showing you earlier, um, the only difference would be that you make more active use of your ring finger and support it a little bit from underneath. And we've already been talking about this anyways, you know, the secret powers of your ring finger. I think it's safe to say that Buddy was using all of those techniques and maybe 10 more. He was truly the master of subconsciously blending all those different movements together into a very powerful playing technique that stands alone up until this day. That's it for this week guys. Tune in next week for even more interesting hybrids. As always, thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell and visit my website simonspringer.online. I'll see you all again next Monday.